So this video is just a quick, simple homage to my absolute favorite film stock, the underestimated legend that is Ilford FP4+. You see, whether I'm scrolling through my social media or flicking through my favorite photo books, it's always the black and white images that stop me in my tracks, spark my curiosity and dare me to look deeper. So for that reason, I knew that my favorite film had to be a black and white one. And out of all the many, many film stocks I've tried over these past few years, Ilford FP4 Plus is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best all-rounder and my go-to film for three main reasons. So reason number one is the look. Ilford FP4 has a timeless, nostalgic look that produces sharp images with a fine, classic grain structure. The film actually draws its origins all the way back to 1935. Of course, it's been through some iterations since then, with the current version FP4 Plus launched around 1990. Ilford says that FP4 Plus delivers a medium contrast and outstanding sharpness, and I can confirm I have always been amazed with just how sharp my negatives are from this film. It honestly just gives me all those vintage nostalgic vibes that I'm after when I'm shooting film, and that's probably to do with the fact that it hasn't changed much since it was being used over 80 years ago. Reason number two being it is super easy to develop. The vast majority of my images were all developed in Ilfosol 3, which is a ready-made, just add water to go developer, and I find it renders great sharpness and contrast. Last but not least is reason number three, and that is the price. So if you're a film shooter like myself, you'll probably be aware of a certain popular colour film manufacturer and their inevitable yearly price hike. Well, the last time Ilford actually raised the film prices was back in 22, and that was by a measly 4-7% to depending on the film stock. So to give a comparison, I'm just going to quickly refer to 35mm, 120 and 4x5 because those are the ones that I shoot. So for a roll of Kodak black and white 35mm with 36 exposures, it's going to cost me around 10 to 12 pounds. But for a roll of Ilford FB4 36 exposures, I can find that for around 6 to 8 pounds, meaning it's essentially half the cost for the same amount of photo. Again, for a roll of Kodak 120, you're looking at around £12, whereas the FB4 is about £6, so half again. And finally, if you're shooting large format, a box of 10 sheets of Kodak would cost me up to £100, so that's basically £10 a photo, whereas with FB4 Plus, I can get a box for around £45 to £50, and it contains 25 sheets. So not only is it half the cost, but it's getting me over double the amount of film. So there you have it, three reasons to answer the question that nobody asked, what's Tom's favourite film? Honestly though, I've enjoyed shooting and developing with this film for a few years now and I just, you know, I thought it deserved a bit of a mention. It's such a versatile and easy to manage film that regularly produces amazing results. As always, thanks for watching and I'll be back next week with another video. Until then, peace out, much love, Tom.